insensitive fans upset Ethan and Grayson Dolan with tweets about their father's death. The twins recently lost their father, Sean Dolan, to cancer. On November 1st, 2016, the Dolan twins uploaded a video called You're Not Alone, where they spoke about their father's cancer diagnosis. On January 19th, 2019, Sean passed away at the age of 50. Ethan and Grayson announced their loss on their Twitter accounts, saying they need to spend time with their family. Ethan tweeted, Life feels like a nightmare. Taking some time off to be with our family. I love you so much, Dad. I'll see you guys soon. Grayson tweeted, I can't believe that today was actually real. It doesn't make sense. Ethan and I are going to be taking some time off and spending it with our family. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for everything. I'll be back soon. They also posted longer tributes on their Instagram accounts. Fellow YouTubers shared their support on social media. Sending so much love. I'm so, so sorry. Please take as much time as you guys need. My heart is with you both. No words can take away the pain, unfortunately, but you and your family will be in my prayers. You both are showing strength that most people will never know. Always here for you. So sorry you're having to go through this. Most of the Twins fans were supportive. Been crying nonstop, I am so sorry. Sean was the best dad. An amazing supporter of you guys and just an amazing man overall. Rest easy, Sean. Love you so much, Ian Gray, Sean, and the rest of the Dolan family. You're all in my prayers. Sean Dolan was an amazing, beautiful, inspiring person and soul. I'm so sad for everyone who lost him. That man raised some absolutely amazing children that inspire millions of people every day. Rest in peace, Sean. You will be deeply missed. But other fans saw Sean's upcoming funeral as a potential meet and greet opportunity. Shortly after the twins announced their father's passing, some fans started the hashtags Sean Dolan Meetup Party, Sean Dolan's Funeral 2019, and Sean Dolan Funeral Party, trying to turn the funeral into a fan meetup. A few fans even started Twitter and Instagram accounts dedicated to the funeral. On the day of Sean's death, the now-deleted Instagram account posted two notes with meetup plans for the funeral. Hey guys, so I know a lot of you are wondering when Sean's funeral is and where it will be located. They haven't posted the obituary yet, but I'm sure they will because I called the funeral home. Of course the twins will be there and so will Cameron. Please be respectful if you are going to the funeral. I will be posting the obituary as soon as the funeral home posts it. Please be respectful. Meet them and take pictures after. I will be there. I am buying a plane ticket to New Jersey. The twins need our support. Please be respectful. If you are going to the funeral, please DM me and we can meet up and go together. I will update y'all soon. Peace. Hey guys, so here's the plans if you are on the Sean Dolan funeral list meetup. 1. Meet up at McDonald's all together. 2. Get ready in my hotel room. 3. Head to the funeral. 4. Pay our respects to Sean by going up to his casket and holding his hand and please cry. 5. Hug the twins, Cameron, mom, family. 6. Speak with the twins after, meaning take pictures, etc. Be nice. Many fans were disgusted at the idea of meeting the twins at the funeral. One fan even posted a Twitter thread explaining why going to the funeral would be a bad idea. Dear Dolan Twins fandom, if you are unaware of this or you need a recent dose of reality, please do not, and I repeat, please do not go to Sean Dolan's funeral if you are not invited to make yourself look good. It is not like a party that they are attending, it's their dad's funeral. If you're planning to go, just remember, one, you are most likely going to be escorted out, two, you will probably get dirty looks from the twins, three, you are definitely not going to get your picture. The twins are going to be mourning the loss of their father, and they are definitely not going to want to take a picture with you. Think in their shoes. If someone that you don't know shows up to the funeral of someone that you really loved and then started asking for pictures and fake crying, what would you do? Would you let them stay or kick them out? I can't believe this is what this has come to. If you want to mourn the loss, mourn online. There's plenty of times where you can meet the twins and they will be happy to see you, but their father's funeral is not one of them. Thank you, this has been a PSA. On January 22nd, the twins responded to the controversy. Ethan tweeted, If you are a fan of Grayson and I, we love you and appreciate you so much. The best way you could support us during this tough time is to not show up at our father's wake or funeral. Thank you guys and please, please, please respect my wish. Grayson tweeted, We want this ceremony to be an opportunity for the people who had a close connection with my dad to say goodbye and pay their respects. We appreciate all of our fans so, so much. Please respect my father, Sean. Ethan, my family, and me send your love through social media only, but their tweets seem to add fuel to the fire. Fans started tweeting pictures of their outfits with the hashtag Sean Dolan Meetup Party. Got my outfit ready, how about you girlies? On my way to the Sean Dolan Meetup Party, how's my outfit ladies? And others said they were on their way to the funeral. Just flew into New York, only a two hour layover until I fly to Sean's funeral. Driving to the funeral, let's do this thing. One fan said they were invited. 
OMG, I got invited. Sean Dolan funeral. Sean Dolan meetup party. Sean Dolan funeral party. Grayson Dolan, can't wait to see you, babe. We can take a pic with Ethan too. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Literally crying in my hotel room right now. Some people use the hashtags to encourage fans not to go to the meetup. Honestly, if you were really a fan of the twins, you wouldn't be using Sean Dolan meetup party, Sean Dolan's funeral 2019. Ethan and Grayson are mourning their father's loss, and people think it's fun to make memes about it. Please just let them have a private service to remember Sean. Sean Dolan meetup party, Sean Dolan funeral? Guys, have respect. Their dad died. By doing this, you are being so selfish and not respectful at all. Let that man rest in peace and let them cope with it. You can't just show up at their dad's dad's funeral. That man raised them. The whole thing with Sean Dolan is honestly heartbreaking. I don't stand the Dolan twins, but losing a family member to cancer isn't easy. It's not a joke either. Leave them alone and let them mourn in peace. It's not that hard. But some people didn't want to listen. Please stop being so insensitive to people that want to pay their respects. Sean Dolan's death has affected us also, maybe even more than the twins. Please stop trying to take this moment from us. We need to heal, and seeing the twins at the funeral is what we need right now. Because of all the tweets, the funeral home handling Sean's funeral said police officers and private security would be at the wake. On January 23rd, the day of the wake, Ryan Abe, a YouTuber and a close friend of the family, tweeted, Hey everyone, the service is ending soon. Everything was wonderful and there were zero issues. I am proud of my friends for being so strong today. Lisa, Cameron, Ethan, and Grayson are simply incredible human beings. Sean would have been so happy with how today went. There were some reports on Twitter of fans who were there, but there are no confirmed reports of fans actually present at the service. There may be an explanation for all the disrespectful tweets. Multiple Dolan twin fans who discouraged others from going to the funeral told BuzzFeed News they suspected K-pop fans started the controversy. In a video posted to Emma Chamberlain's channel on June 19, 2018, Grayson Dolan pretended to pass out, then made a joke about K-pop performers fainting. Go! Oh my god. You start passing out really K-pop. <laughs> <laughs> While some K-pop fans were okay with the joke, many others didn't like it. Imagine thinking that mocking someone for passing out for being overworked is funny. Yeah, people overworking themselves and passing out is so funny, LMAO, OMG. They were referring to the K-pop industry's restrictive diet plans and crazy schedules. Because of the insane lifestyle, some K-pop stars end up passing out on stage during live performances. Grayson posted a series of now-deleted tweets in response to the K-pop-related backlash. I want a positive change for overworked stars in all industries. Health is extremely important. Don't engage with anyone who attacked me. There is a misunderstanding and I forgive. Seeing people frustrated that I didn't properly apologize. I am very sorry for offending or upsetting anyone with the joke that I made in the video today. I know that I did not mean any harm by what I said and I wasn't trying to desensitize a serious topic. If you are still upset with me, then there is nothing else that I can say. I know that I am a genuine and kind person and I'm here to do nothing but spread positivity and make people laugh. Everyone makes mistakes. Sorry again if I upset you. Fast forward to January 2019. When Sean Dolan passed away, some K-pop bands started mocking the death. Maybe if Sean Dolan could rap like this, then he wouldn't have died. And the person who runs the Sean Funeral Twitter account is a K-pop fan, according to their bio. Other K-pop bands have been apologizing to the Dolan Twins fandom for the abusive tweets. To the Dolan Twins stands, I'm sorry for what Ethan and Grayson and you guys have to go through, and I'm sorry that some K-pop stands are being disrespectful about this situation. But I do want you guys to know that not all K-pop stands are messed up like that. Some of us don't even know what's going on. So just instead of ranting about all K-pop stands, report and block the rude and disrespectful stands because just tweeting about them won't help the situation. And I'm sorry if this tweet came off as rude to some of you, I'm not doing it intentionally. And I really am sorry for everything that's going on with your fandom, Ethan and Grayson, and their family. While there isn't a solid way to prove K-pop fans started everything, there is a lot of credible evidence. And that seems to be the end of the drama. So what's the big issue? All this controversy with the Dolan Twins fans and K-pop fans brings up an important conversation about obsessive fandoms and when appreciation crosses a line. First, we have to answer an important question. What is a stan? The term stan originally came from the 2000 Eminem song, Stan. In the song, an obsessive fan named Stan writes letters to Eminem constantly. As the song goes on, Stan becomes more obsessed. When Eminem doesn't reply to Stan's letters right away, he gets angry and eventually kills himself and his pregnant girlfriend. After Eminem introduced the term, Nas used it in his 2001 diss track, Ether. You a fan, a phony, a fake, a 
a stan. Since then, the word has become an officially recognized term for a zealous, obsessive fan. Being obsessed with a celebrity is nothing new. Just look at the Beatles' thousands of screaming fans at the height of their popularity. But social media websites like Twitter and Instagram make connecting with your favorite celebrities easier than ever. In a 2016 study, researchers Kim and Song say that Twitter is different from traditional media outlets because it's direct, personal, and unfiltered. And these personal social media sites give rise to parasocial interactions. I've talked about parasocial interactions in my video on Marzia, but it's important to talk about here. According to research from doctoral students at Howard University, parasocial relationships are one-sided relationships where the person extends emotional energy, interest, and time, and the other party, the persona, is completely unaware of the other's existence. These kinds of interactions have become more common and more extreme on sites like Twitter because celebrities and fans have a more intimate relationship. Researchers from the University of Missouri conducted a study on Lady Gaga and her fans, the Little Monsters, and they found that the fans feel a connection to Lady Gaga through their social media interactions. Unlike generations of fans before them, Little Monsters have the opportunity to feel engaged in regular and repeated contact with Lady Gaga. Because they feel that she reciprocates, the connection is maintained and extended, allowing them to identify with Mother Monster at a level that is unimaginable. So with that kind of interaction with their favorite celebrities, it's easy to see why stands are so willing to defend and protect their star at virtually any cost. But as we can see with the Dolan twins and K-pop fandoms, stand behavior can get toxic really fast. One key psychological hallmark of stand behavior is herd mentality, when people's behavior or beliefs conform to the group to which they belong. While we do have independent thoughts, when we're associated with a group, like a fandom, we tend to adopt the same opinions as the rest of the people in that group. And another aspect of this is group polarization, when a group of people reinforces each other's opinions. In a study done by French psychologists, the researchers asked participants their opinions on the French president and Americans. Then they asked the participants to discuss the topics as a group. After all the participants talked to each other, their opinions became more extreme. If they started out slightly liking the French president and slightly disliking Americans, they ended up loving the French president and hating Americans when they were done. And we see a lot of this behavior in stan culture. Most people join fandoms because they really like a particular movie or TV show or celebrity and want to talk to other people who like the same thing. Within the group, its members encourage each other and they may do or say things they wouldn't if they didn't have the group's influence. And while it doesn't excuse the abusive and disrespectful tweets from the Dolan Twins fans and K-pop fans, it does explain how one or two people can start an extreme movement within a fandom for better or for worse. Despite their potential for being toxic, fandoms can be good. Being a part of a group, including a fandom, can give people a sense of community and belonging. Dr. Laurel Steinberg, a psychotherapist and psychology professor at Columbia University says, belonging to a fandom group helps adolescents connect to other like-minded youths on social media throughout the year, as well as at concert events. Feeling like you are a part of a group can help one define his, her identity and give a sense of purpose to what might be an otherwise routine lifestyle. She continues, Connecting with people over shared passions and interests is good for mental and emotional health because it helps to create a fraternity-like or family-like sense of security. But even though fandoms can be good, it's important to have several interests and maintain some healthy distance. Dr. Lisa Bahar, a therapist who specializes in working with teenage girls, says, Having several interests and layers to your identity is also healthy for teenage mental and emotional health. And she's absolutely right. When you're totally wrapped up in one thing, it can take over your life. If your entire life revolves around work and something bad happens at your job, it'll affect you more because that's the only thing in your life. If you have other hobbies and activities going on, you'll have less extreme reactions to one negative thing because you can distract yourself with something else. And a wide variety of interests will make you a more layered, healthy person at any age. So where do we go from here? This whole situation is bad for everyone involved. K-pop fans were disrespectful with their tweets about Sean, and Dolan Twins fans were disrespectful when they tweeted about going to the funeral. And Ethan and Grayson Dolan should not have had to deal with that drama when they were dealing with a huge loss. While being a fan of someone or something is emotionally healthy, it can have a dark side when appreciation becomes obsession. And what happened in the Dolan Twins fandom is a clear example of stands going too far. Not every fan is obsessive, but the ones who go to extremes are a huge problem. The best thing fans can do is take a step back and remind themselves that their favorite celebrity is human too. Constant attention from and interaction with fans can be exhausting, 
Everyone needs a break sometimes. Getting some perspective is good for fans too. While it's hard to find the right balance, it's important that fans try to create some distance for everyone's emotional health. What do you think about this story? Did the fans go too far? Let me know in the comments below.